Well, parents divided over students ahead of the school year, many in agreement, and welcome Governor Kim Reynolds and Republican lawmakers' ban on mask mandates. Well, other parents view the ban as dangerous to the health of students. So those parents in opposition to the ban met at the Iowa State House this morning. Local 5's Carson Reichardt joins us from there. Carson, you spoke to parents at today's rally. That's right, sending kids back to school is always a stressful time for parents, and COVID certainly hasn't made that any easier. Earlier today, everyone from ordinary parents to state senators got together for what they called the Safe at School sit-in here at the Capitol. The event's focus was on pushing back against a bill signed by Reynolds in May, which made it illegal for schools to institute mask mandates in the classroom. Rising case numbers have parents worried about their kids, many of whom are too young to be vaccinated. It was first organized on Facebook by local parents. We want our kids to be safely in school. We want to be able to go back to work. We want to be able to have our kids learn safely and develop relationships in school, but we want them to do it safely in a pandemic. Megan Srinivas is an infectious disease expert. She spoke at the event comparing the classroom environment to a game of roulette, where the health of students and community members is at risk. Any one of them could get sick, could pass away, could have permanent consequences, and we need to prevent that. While schools may not be able to mandate masks, there are still ways that parents can help keep their kids safe to the best of their ability. We know they can get sick from this disease, that they can die from this disease, have permanent ramifications, but we can prevent all of that if we use universal masking and get everybody vaccinated who is eligible to do so. Sit-in participants have plans to continue pushing back against the ban on mask mandates. So that if there are schools in Iowa that want to fight this ban in court, we don't want that to be an economic burden on them, so we're fundraising to uh, raise money for a legal aid fund for um, schools and parents who want to take this uh, to court. Parents say they won't be letting this cause go anytime soon. Schools here in Des Moines starting in just two weeks. While there's no mandates, Des Moines Public Schools is still strongly encouraging masks for all students. Live at the State House, this is Carson J.S. Reichardt for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Carson, thank you. The governor and Republican lawmakers are standing firm with their decision to ban mask mandates. Now, Governor Kim Reynolds saying parental control is local control and parents have the option to send their kids to school with a mask or not. A spokesperson for the Iowa House, the Republican says Iowans can determine for themselves whether wearing a mask is the right decision for them. And Republican Senator Jack Whitfer says Senate Republicans have consistently implemented policies to give parents more control over their children's educations. Iowa is not alone in banning mask mandates at schools. Now, these states you see here in red have done the same. Those in yellow requiring masks for the school year, while the blue states leave the decision to each school.